All right, Shalom, Shalom, giving all praise, going on to Yahweh, by Shemiah, by Shah, by Shon Kakodash, the Lord of the Apostles, and the Elves of the Great Millstone. Peace, best to hope for elect. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, I'm trying to make this quick. Um, this is uh, an article from the ScienceAlert.com, and it says Kepler seems to have detected a bunch of rogue planets drifting through the galaxy. All right. Um, now, if you know the scriptures, if you know the the mysteries, if you know and understand the power of Yahweh Bashmi Al uh we know that there are other planets out in these galaxies and out in the heavens that are put there for us to travel to when the Israelites get the kingdom. All right. Um, So Esau, you know, the Heavenly Father has blessed Esau with certain technology to to not travel but to detect what you know what could be these planets out here. Um, I don't know the science, I don't know the, the, the way things work. But Esau knows, especially with the uh, the different sightings of the uh, chariots that have been uh, appearing just in the past uh, few weeks all right uh, the past few months and past few years the increase in the so-called UFO side is you know what we know as the chariots that there are uh, other planets out here all right uh, so now it says when a star is born the leftover dust and gas in the cloud from which it formed doesn't just sit there uh, clumps together forming other cosmic objects, asteroids and comets and meteors and yes exoplanets. We've detected many of these exoplanets in orbit around alien stars in the Milky Way. Which the word alien just means foreign. So, um, these, um, these, these planets, you know, now the scripture says that first and foremost the angels all right, created along with Yahweh Shai created the uh, the universe we read Genesis the first chapter it created the planet earth the sun the moon the stars and everything else that's out there so you know uh, Esau's going to put his spin on how these things are created so we're going to pick the meat from the bones I want to get to how they're detecting them. So now it says, um, it says, but not all exoplanet, but not all exoplanets stay put. Some get gravitationally kicked away from their parent star to wander the galaxy, cold and alone. These are less easy to detect. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm agreeing with this, but the detection using their technology is what I want to get into. It says, but after careful combing through data from NASA's planet hunting Kepler Space Telescope. Now, Esau has telescopes out here to detect planets, stars, and definitely the angels, all right, the chariots of the Lord. It says, astronomers think they found some. In data from a two-month observing period, they counted 27 signals hinting that a rogue exoplanet was moving past the telescope's eye. Most of them were known. Detected by by uh, other instruments, but five were completely new. And four of these new signals, the researchers said, seem to be from rogue exoplanets around the same mass as as Earth. All right, uh, Kepler, now retired, was not designed to detect exoplanets this way. It relies on something called the transit method. When an exoplanet passes between us and its star, we may observe a faint dip in light. Kepler studied field of stars. Fields of stars to pick out these dips in, in starlight, detecting thousands of exoplanets as a result. All right, so that's pretty much all I'm I'm going to read. I'll leave a link to the article. I just want to get the meat of this, uh, but I want to get a scripture. All right, starting at Genesis, the first chapter. All right, Genesis chapter one, and one. It says, "In the beginning, the." Now, when you see, now it says God here, but this is not the Heavenly Father. These are the angels. All right? When you go into the Hebrew, it's going to say the angels or the powers. All right? The Allahayim. Okay? Allahayim is a plural word 
for powers or angels or messengers. So in the beginning, the angels created the heaven and the earth along with Yahweh Shai. So everything that we see was created by order of the Heavenly Father through the angels. So just like you have a construction site and you have uh, uh, managers and foremans, uh, managers and foremans that have their workers use the blueprint to create the uh, actual project. That's how the Heavenly Father had the universe created. All right. Um, I'm going to jump down to verse 14 and 15. It says, And the angel said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the light, or the day from the night, excuse me. It says, And the angel said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the, the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and days and years. Uh, verse 15 and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and the angels made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the less light to rule the night so we know that the moon is a light the moon is a light the sun is a light it says he made the stars also all right so you have different stars and you have other planets around those stars that Esau is able to discover using his technology. Now I want to go from here to John the 14th chapter in the New Testament. John 14 and 2 it says in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare, prepare a place for you all right now is this talking about houses is it talking about a, a, a eight bedroom home with a poolside view or a lake view next to a, a long river in the side of a mountain no this is talking about planets Mansions means uh, abode, you know, somewhere to abide. So the Heavenly Father has actual other planets out here, you know. It's not just the planet Earth. The planet Earth is the center, all right? But there are other other places out there. I mean, other otherwise, the Lord, like you said, would have just said it. The Lord says you go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. So we're waiting on, this, on, on the return of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. It says, and receive you unto myself, and where I am, there ye, there ye may be also. So, the Lord is going to bring us into his kingdom. One more. This is Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. It says, the Most High, who at sundry times, and in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Verse 2, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. So everything that the Lord Heavenly Father created is going to be given to his son. And like it says in Romans 8 chapter, we are joint heirs with the son, Yahweh Shai. So if he's going to get the universe and the stars and the, and the heavens and other planets, we're going to get those as well. It says, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom he by whom also he made the worlds. There's multiple worlds. So there's different worlds. So everything that the Heavenly Father created uh, and what he set out, out in the heavens and space, things like that, we're going to actually uh, um, obtain. All right? So I just want to go through this, this, uh, this uh, real quick, you know. Um, I'll end it here. All praises, all glory, all honors. Going to Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai, by Shemi Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect. Shalom.